Lines of tractors with their plows moved steadily across the newly cleared land. Farming on this scale and with these machines is a new thing in Africa. And unless the plow follows soon behind the bulldozer, the bush reclaims its soil. After the plows, mechanical fertilizers spread lime to improve the soil. And then, at last, the seed could be sown. Shortages of men and machines, shipping hold-ups, routes tougher and more stubborn than expected, all these delayed progress. And the area ready for sowing was far smaller than was hoped. Three miles from Congo. Meanwhile, at Congo itself, the men to use the tools began to come in. Recruits from all East Africa, from dozens of tribes with different customs, languages and religions. Some had been drivers or mechanics. Five months from the sowing, the rain on, and in May 1948, a crop was ready for harvesting. Under the guidance of Europeans, African drivers and mechanics learnt to operate them and steadily pushing, shoving, tearing on his scrub, uprooting trees, flattening out obstacles. Job. Technicians and mechanics began to arrive. And at Congwa, the first tent for the surveyors, the scientists, and the first African workers. May the 1st, 1947, the first in into the heart of the bush. All the equipment, tools, all the stores for the job at Congwa, the biggest of its kind ever started, straight over the two... Congwa, the first pioneers began the struggle against the African bush. Congwa bush is no less stubborn than elsewhere, but it is free of tsetse fly and near the... leaving a clear field for the experiment. First signs of something new were seen at Dar es Salaam, capital of Tanganyika. had to be overcome. The first year's arid bush. Why can't the one upon which everything depends? The bush must be cleared, beaten down and destroyed, or the whole plan fails. roads become impassable after the rains. Endless, desolate, useless. Thousands of miles of African bush. So arid is the land that it seems lifeless. But stubborn thick, this bush ground has been cleared and windrows formed to guard 